I'd like to talk to you today about making a really good professional PowerPoint presentation. Let's talk about our goals. The first thing that's most important is that you have a defined message to get across. Think about what you want to say and stick to it. The next thing is that you need to make best use of the amenities you have in which to communicate that message. The pictures, the size of the screen, the sound whether or not to use video, all of those things need to be considered. We want to talk about how to insert pictures, how to add sound, how to add video, and then to summarize at the end so that you wrap it up nicely. And don't forget as you're going along to add something that brands your particular service. As we, you see here with Phil McCavity, the flossing Scotsman in the top corner, and a slogan which goes at the bottom. Let's talk about getting the message across. It takes two minutes to tell the truth. The rest is just padding. So think about defining your message neatly in a small package so that people get it quickly. You can add all the other stuff, but make sure you get back to the point you want to make. Now about the amenities you have available. The first thing is you have a voice, you talk. Know what you're going to say. Find pictures that are appropriate to communicate your message and sounds if necessary to embellish the presentation. And video, of course, is a string of pictures with sound, a great way to, to add anything to a talk. You also have to overcome your resistance to using these amenities. A lot of people are fearful of it. If you overcome it, you'll do a better job with your presentation. Now let me ask you something. Have you got a cell phone? Because if you've got a cell phone and you know how it works and you can text and you can check emails and you can see pictures and you can send pictures, then you can make a great PowerPoint presentation. If you have those skills, you'll have no problem with PowerPoint. So let's talk about the, the amenities. First of all, you have to know what you're going to say. Make a list. Get your pencil and paper out and write down the things you want to talk about and go down them systematically and use each slide to embellish the point you want to make. The next thing to do is to, to open up a folder for the data that you're going to use in the show. One folder for the slideshow, which contains everything, makes it really easy for you to access and edit what you want to put into the show. Put all your images, all the photographs that relate to the show in the folder. Save your PowerPoint presentation to that folder. Edit your sound. Put in your recordings, whatever audio files you want to add, save them into that folder. And the same with your videos. Put the videos in there. To make a new folder, what you want to do is get those images into them. Just go to My Documents on your computer and look for the New tab. Click on it, the new folder, and give the folder the name you want for your show. So you put your images in there, you save each of the image files to that folder, you save your audio files there and your video files in the same way. And your PowerPoint. Now, opening up the PowerPoint presentation. Go down to your starter menu, open it up, and just type in PowerPoint. It'll take you to a blank screen, click on it, and open it up, and this is what you'll have. Now, choose the design for the display of your slideshow by going up to the Design tab. And go over to Page Setup, 
Click on that and what will pop down is a series of options for the size of the screen. Select 16 by 9. Click on it and press OK. You will then have a PowerPoint presentation which instead of being 4 by 3, which occupies that small size in the middle of the page there, it will expand to 16 by 9 and you have an opportunity to put so much more information on the screen. Now let's talk about sound files. Supposing I wanted to talk about oh, the Battle of Stamford Bridge. One of my ancestors was slain there. I would like to put the sound of a battle going on to embellish this particular picture. How do I do that? I'm building my PowerPoint presentation. I want to add sound. So go to Insert at the top. Go over to Audio. Click on the audio. Select the battle cry sounds and insert it. Then you want to make sure that it doesn't show on the page during the slideshow. So you move that over to the side out of the way or say don't display. And then you go to the animation page and you edit it, instructing it to play that sound for as many slides as you want it to go over. Then having clicked on it, or say stop after the present slide, press OK, and this time, you will, you will say start when you open the page, this time when you click on the slide, you will have this effect. Now you have to admit, that's pretty impressive, isn't it? It adds a lot more to the glamour of your slide presentation. So now let's talk about putting in video. Same process. If a picture is worth a thousand words, then a video must be, have tremendous value. So I recommend that you try to find videos wherever you can. Select your video from your folder. Insert your video. Go over, pick it up, and when you find the video you want, click on it and introduce it. Now, you do exactly the same thing. You have it play on command when you click on it, or you can make it play as soon as you enter the slide. Sound speed. Z1, take one. Okay, so tell me why, why having straight teeth are important. Right. Our bodies naturally have an anatomical harmony. Everything has its place. When any part of the body is out of place, it doesn't function so well. And that is absolutely true for teeth. Teeth that are not properly positioned can abrade each other, and that can cause unfair wear or undue wear, and they'll need to be repaired. If they're misaligned, they can be difficult to be kept clean. Teeth that are difficult to keep clean are prone to gum disease. Therefore, you may lose the teeth prematurely because the bone has been lost supporting them. When your mouth or your smile is disfigured by having teeth that are out of position, it very frequently produces a sense of low self-esteem and discourages people from showing their smile, which is one of the most powerful ways in which we communicate. I mean, let's face it, smile and the world smiles with you. So wrapping it up, think about and know exactly what you want to say. Add the components which are going to embellish your presentation. Personalize it. Summarize at the end. And what have you got? A great presentation. So here we are summarizing one more time. Get the message across, write it down clearly so that you know what you're going to talk about. Make best use of the amenities in your PowerPoint presentation. Insert pictures freely so that they present clearly what you want to express. Add sound as necessary and video and summarize at the end. There you go. Thank you very much.